Welcome to Empire Blade, this is Rampain, and welcome to a new installation guide for the Medieval 1212 AD mod from Attila that I wanted to go over today, as I know I want to make another campaign in this at some point, and they recently just had a new update going over a lot of the uh, Byzantine factions and got all those guys over there, so I thought I'd make it a simple little installation guide, especially so that I can kind of make sure to kind of talk about sub mods a little bit, as those are very important for a mod like this. So we're going to get started here. The easiest aspect is in your steam you're going to want to go to the workshop um, they do have other links to other locations where they have the mod listed but for the most part as far as i am aware to my knowledge the most up-to-date version of the mod is always going to be on the steam workshop like mod db total war center eh, haven't been updated in a while as uh, as i checked um to make this a little bit easier and kind of cheat for us a little bit oh hey look at that there's one of the models um but what i can also do is Specifically, I'm going to make sure I have this link down in the description down below as it's a little bit easier to make sure that you can get everything you need for it. This collection is made by the mod developers, which continue, contains all of the packs that are currently required for the mod. As long as you uh, subscribe to all of these, there's no more additional downloads you have to do outside of this. Um, as long as you have all of these subscribed, you will have all that you need currently um, as uh, I am making this installation guide to be able to run the mod. The most important aspect that some people might actually mess up is making sure you have the right load order. So they suggest the recommended load order they recommend is the scripts, siege map replacer, base campaign, models, then in order, and then you have the music at the end. The one slight addition to this is if you are using sub mods this might be slightly different for example i when i go to the mod manager aspect of attila i want to have a uh, four turn per mod sub mod for the for the 1212 ad mod as it runs a little bit too quickly if you have it and your characters die too quickly if um you don't have the sub mod here for this and so most sub mods for medieval 1212 do require to be put in front do make sure you double check with the sub mod um, some will vary depending on what you are doing with the sub mod most oftentimes they have to be added before the rest of the mod load are loaded in so if you do this you will then be able to run the game. One thing I'm gonna make sure to double check I wanna bring up before I kinda of launch the game and showcase that it is still working is one issue I know commonly uh, occurs it with um, installate, installing mods for Total War games. Occasionally you'll have mo um, files missing in the game if you've maybe had something going wrong with your hard drive or you are fiddling around with some other mod on your own. Um, one thing to make sure if you are unaware simple thing you can always do is properties right click properties for attila you can then always look at local files and you can verify the integrity of the game files this will basically make it so if you are missing any of the vanilla files it will re-download them to your game as one thing to always keep in mind it's always best to try and have a fresh install whenever you're installing mods as that is the best chance that you're not going to have something fuck up so now that we have make sure made sure that we have the uh, load order in the right order, and we have my sub mod active, the game can now run. Make sure this just double check if you really want to that everything is in the same order as we had in the workshop, which it should be, and we are good to go to start the game. Getting us a mod that is probably the closest we are ever going to get to Medieval Three, so. I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy this little install guide. Also, maybe just bring awareness to the mod if you're unaware of it. Um, I always like making these installation guides as even if it is a fairly simple process, if other people are having issues opening up and getting the game to run, these are a great area to kind of collectively troubleshoot with other people and get better feedback on why the game might specifically not be running for you. So now, Everything's ready. I could now actually start a campaign playing in the current ver uh, version 1.2 that they have for the alpha of the campaign, where I know they made a lot of changes to like the Empire of Nikea um, and Trebizond, wherever the fuck they are. There's Trebizond, <laughs> and a couple others where they have been adding more to their units. 
But I'm gonna hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave some comments down below. I like let's try and collectively troubleshoot with everybody else that's trying to get this mod if they're having any issues. But I'm gonna hope you guys enjoyed this video. But and this is Rampand, and I'll see you guys next time.